All right, you mentioned the Packers, man. They uh, lost yeah. surprisingly against Tom Brady, Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Tom Brady has that leadership quality where he goes into a team and he makes everybody step up and play. Brady the God. I mean, this guy is just an amazing uh, football player, an amazing leader, an amazing quarterback. And you know what? You know, some of you might be saying, Mama lo, ponle casa, and all that <laughs> shit. But hey, you got to give credit where credit is due. The guy's married to a damn supermodel, man. And you know what? I like him better with the Bucks. <laughs> yeah. All right. I like him better with the Bucks than I did with the Patriots because I hated the Patriots, right? And there was a big conversation going into that because it was like, does Bill Belichick make the Patriots or does Tom Brady, Tom Brady make the Patriots? Well, how and, are they right, doing? and right now it's looking like Tom Brady's Tom making Brady the Patriots because yeah. the Patriots went out and got Cam Newton, who's a high profile quarterback, big body, big arm, big guy. And they're not doing very well. They just lost this week. And then you have Brady destroying Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? What do you think, Fish? Was it Brady or was it Belichick? Rally, Dad, what are y'all's opinions on? Was it Brady or was it Belichick who made the Patriots? I think... Well, go ahead. No, go ahead, Fish. I just think that Brady and Belichick were a good team together. Exactly. And, okay. I mean, now that they kind of broke them up, it's kind of like, well, they got to do their best on their own. And uh -huh. it seems that Brady's doing it with the Bucks, And Belichick... He's doing okay, but he probably would be doing better with Brady because yeah. they had that connection. I well, think. well, Brady lost uh, last weekend, and and so, yeah. um, and 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 the Patriots won last weekend. Patriots lost this week, and Brady won. So what we can see is that maybe the domination isn't as huge as when they're together. Because when true. they were together, man, yeah. they dominated, you know. Very and I true. think something that was really smart for the Buccaneers to do is uh, also uh, acquire Gronkowski. Oh, yeah. Because Gronkowski can be like uh, Brady's connection to, to you know, kind of handle all the all the people that are sur surround him. Yeah, he and got sort of giving them – because them, uh, Brady's over here working on the game plan, and Gronkowski's probably handling all the guys. Hey, this is the way it's going to be whatever, right? Yeah. So I think that was a very smart move also by the Bucks to get him, man. Gronk, had, Gronk said he wouldn't come back and play unless it was for Brady. Mm -hmm. And then just so happened that Brady went to the Bucks, so he went to the Bucks. He got his first touchdown uh, this week. He hadn't scored a touchdown in, I think, well, he had been hurt. So it had been like about four years. So uh, the Brady to Gronk connection is back. And, yeah. And, 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 you know, sorry, Daniel, but the Packers got spanked. <laughs> yeah. But Aaron Rodgers did have a post-game interview, and he said, you know what, Saiske, hey, everybody gets their ass kicked once in a while. So, and, and you can't doubt Aaron Rodgers, man. I mean, Rogers, everybody everybody has that stinker of a game. He's like, we play 16 games a year. You're going to have that one stinker. And this was it. So, hey, you know what? We lost, but we, st I mean, we still have a great record. Yeah. And, and we're still front runners for the NFC Championship game. And, and, you know, Rodgers has been in this position before, dude. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's come back and they've won Super Bowls and all that. Yeah. The thing that I, I was really worried about Rodgers is that when he attempted to get that touchdown and he could oh, have gotten really hurt. out of him. Well, yeah. he really could have gotten hurt. Yeah. He doesn't need to be doing that, bro. Okay. He that doesn't goes, need to be doing it's that. It's good that you say that. And he didn't get the touchdown. That was our discussion last week about uh, the Dak sliding or not. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, Dad, there's other quarterbacks out there that when the, you know, you're the, not that the game was on the line, but you want to get that extra yard. You want to do what's best for your team. So that's why he did what he did. And he got, he got walloped for it. And he didn't even score the touchdown because his knee was down. But that's what quarterbacks do when they want to put their team on their back is they make that extra effort. And it might be a little risky, but it is, it's, would you do it for the team and you do it for the guys that you practice with every single day? And he's no spring chicken, dude. I mean, yeah. he's not. Dak is young and he can mm -hmm. still come back and do some. If yeah. he gets hurt, he and remember when he got hurt from his shoulder? He might. Oh, they thought yeah. he might not be making it back. Well, you know, that was, not that it was a dirty play, but they picked him up, kind of drove him to the ground. But um, NFC, the, the Packers are still there. All the Packers fans out there, you have nothing to worry about. You just got Devontae Adams back uh, from injury. So you have your number one receiver. You have your number one running back and the number one quarterback. So you should be fine.